In an ABC4 exclusive, Utah Senator Mike Lee calling for energy independence for the United States as Utahns continue to pay more than the national average at the gas pump. ABC4's Lena Takata live in Salt Lake City tonight with more on how the senator says domestic energy production can benefit middle class Americans. Lena. Glenn. Senator Lee and Senator Dan Sullivan of Alaska spent their day here in Utah discussing solutions to high oil prices and what the future of energy production could look like in the United States. As we are continue to do what we're supposed to do as a, as a uh, county of our county patrols, our public works, is that there has been an increase in our gas and our fuel budgets. Davis County Commissioner Randy Elliott says the high gas prices in Utah are impacting everything from county budgets to family pocketbooks. No doubt more production of American energy would bring down the prices that working families are feeling all across the country that are pretty staggering and really harmful to getting by on a, you know, having to stretch a budget. U.S. Senators Mike Lee and Dan Sullivan say supporting energy independence is supporting middle class and poor Americans and national security. You should be all for utilizing America's energy resources, including those found on federal lands, because if, if you don't use that, we'll end up buying more from countries like Saudi Arabia, Russia, Venezuela, all of which have horrible human rights records and very, very substandard environmental records. The abundance of federal lands is something the senators' home states of Utah and Alaska have in common. It's land the senators say has potential for energy production. But if you can't get the federal government to help you get through the permitting system, the transportation, or if they're trying to limit finance, it hurts the country, it hurts your state. But White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki in a press conference last month insisting there are existing leases oil companies should be using first. We know there are 9,000 unused and approved oil leases right now that these oil companies could tap into and do more in. Lena Takata reporting tonight. Senator Lee also releasing a state inflation tracker to provide state by state inflation data each month. According to that tracker, energy costs have gone up some $177 for Utah households compared to January of last year.